Hey guys, Omni here. Welcome back for another Mission Monday. We're going to be diving into the fifth film in the Mission Impossible franchise, that is Rogue Nation. This is the one I feel like I, I remember the least. Because I did remember seeing like in the trailers and commercials and stuff like the 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 tower climbing from Ghost Protocol. Other than the title, I don't think I can recall a single thing from the trailers of this film. I, I remember the Henry Cavill stuff from Fallout because obviously people were real obsessed with the the arm cocking thing he did from the trailer to the point where I, I think he had to give like a demo of how to do that on Good Morning America for some reason. But that I'm lo really looking forward to Fallout just because I, I do want to see Henry Cavill uh, throw down with Ethan Hunt, man. But guys, if you want to see the full-length reaction, remember you can check that out over on Patreon or if you become a member of the channel, it gets you access as well. It is a watch-along format, so you will need your own footage to sync up with the time code, see my reaction to the entire film. Get the same thing for all the other shows and movies that we cover here on the channel. Over there, we also do a monthly movie reaction community pick where you guys put forth your own suggestions and then vote on what movie we react to each month. We got monthly Q&As, behind-the-scenes footage. I try to make it worth your while since you are going to wait to support the channel. But guys, at the end of the day, I'd really appreciate it. If you enjoy the reaction, to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already because it really does help us out here on the channel itself. With that all said and out of the way, guys, let's go ahead and hop into Mission Impossible Rogue Nation. Benji. Okay, Benji's back. Shit. Where is Ethan? The package is on the plane. Is that Renner? I know. We're currently for Yes, okay. I was hoping he'd stay around. I really liked his presence in the last one. That plane cannot take off with the package on it. You understand? We're working on it. What the hell are you doing? Yes! You're supposed to be an assignment in Malaysia. I am in Malaysia. I've been here two days. Oh, thank goodness. I've missed Ving. Pilot left the satellite uplink switched on. And how do you access the uplink? It involves hacking a Russian satellite. I can't authorize that. Which is why I didn't ask permission. <laughs> Package is still on that plane. What about the electrical system? Oh, that might work. Uh, no. No, oh, they're encrypted. The plane! Yes, the package is on the <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! You open the door. Maybe. Dude, we're just starting off with a run. I'm on the plane. Open the door. How did you get in the plane? Not near the plane. I'm on the plane. Open the door. <laughs> Benji, open the door. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. What the fuck? Come on. Yes, got it. Wrong <laughs> door, dude. This is a very promising start. Oh, no, oh, Jesus Christ. Wow, he's really fucking lucky, dude. Holy shit. Yeah, I guess that is all they were wanting. <laughs> oh, Rebecca Ferguson. Alec Baldwin, okay. It really is you. I've heard stories. They can't all be true. <laughs> You'd be surprised. you recovered in Belarus were confirmed to be VX nerve gas. Dude, this is wicked. I love it. The Shadow Organization is committed to inciting revolution by enabling acts of terror in nations friendly to Western interests. IMF suspects this to be the same Shadow Organization you have been tracking for the last year, also known as the Syndicate. Oh, okay. We have a thread! We have taken steps to ensure that this will not happen because we are the Syndicate, Mr. Hunt. Now we know who you are. What? Resist us, you will be killed, and your precious secretary will disavow any knowledge of your actions. This message will self-destruct in five seconds. Oh, wow. Ooh, woof. Wow.
We were having fun. We were having fun here. And then we have to go and do that. Wow, that was like straight up whiplash. Damn, I wasn't ready for it to get that serious that fast. A Russian nuclear warhead rendered safe by the IMF. Clipped the Trans-America Pyramid before plunging into the San Francisco Bay. Saving the Western Hemisphere. It's made possible by IMF agents who did willingly provide the launch codes to a known terrorist. I can neither confirm nor deny details of any such operation. <laughs> From where I sit, your unorthodox methods are indistinguishable from chance, and your results, perfect or not, look suspiciously like luck. I'm afraid today is the day when the IMF's luck runs out. I think when you have like a track record of success that that high, no matter how you got to it, like the st the stats, the end results, undeniable. Come on. They call you the Bone Doctor. You're officially declared dead three years ago. Nice shoes, by the way. Not his. Yours. Charming as ever. I was going to say me about her tough today. <laughs> Do they know each other? Like, I'm a little confused. <laughs> Oh, come on, dude. Come on. It's so close. Yo, yo, yo. <laughs> God damn, man. That was impressive. <laughs> that guy got it good. Hmm. What the hell? <laughs> Thank God for Hollywood aim. Just focus operations on gathering any available intel regarding former covert operatives. It doesn't matter what country or agency, just as long as they're dead or presumed dead. Mm. This man you saw, can you find him? This may very well be our last mission, Ethan. Make it count. Damn, man. Oh, no. He did get hit. I'm going to find him, Brad, and when I do, he will be called upon to answer for every wanton act of mayhem he is responsible for. I already don't like this guy. Ethan Hunt is living his last day as a free man. Six months later. Wow, really delivered on that threat. Yo, ho, ho, ho. Execute. Langley Brimstone, go. I say again, we are go. Oh, interesting. What? Nice. Langley, there's nobody here. That's, that's good. <laughs> Brenda could not help but smile a little bit. Oh, wow, dude. Wow, he's put in some legwork in six months on his own. <laughs> Hell yeah, dude. That Halo 5 product placement, man. Dude, I, now I just want to play Halo 5. Ethan Hunt is still out there in the field, and I am stuck here answering for it. We are not friends. That'll be all done. Those are all truths. Oh, that little flicker. Oh, he's gotten good. Answering without actually answering in a way. Nice, smart. Good, good, Simon. Good, Benji. I'm almost tempted to continue calling him Reggie just out of spite for myself. Wait, did he legitimately think he won tickets to the... <laughs> Welcome to Vienna, Benji. Miss me? <laughs> He's our only possible link to the syndicate. Are you in? Yes, of course. You find him. We tag him. I follow him wherever he goes. After that, you're on a plane. Back at work Monday morning? No one is the wiser. Wait, that's it? 
He's like, I want to do more. We have a European head of state here at the same time as we are looking for a nefarious terrorist. Two things are completely unrelated. <laughs> Just take your position. Tell me what you see. Okay. Nice tux, by the way. Ah. Oh, woof. That was cool. Join the no MF. way. See the world on a monitor. We got a book laptop. And did you see that? See what? The woman. Oh, the cameras here are scrubbed like we've seen Benji do. Damn, man. So, like, which one does he go after? I wonder if they know he's here and that guy is, like, the decoy while she does the thing. Oh. They have a specific point in the song mapped out for that note to mask whatever they're about to do. Ooh! Oh no. How many people are here to shoot somebody? There was that guy who was about to do something, this guy who's about to do something, and then her over there about to do something. Oh! Ethan, the lighting booth. Ethan, do you copy? Oh! He got horned. Oh no, whatever he does now, he can be framed for it though. He's gonna take out the decoy, she's gonna hit the guy and he's here with the gun, he's gonna take the fall for it. Oh, maybe that's the whole... Nice. Oh, oh Jesus. Everybody's shooting at everybody right now, man. Maybe there's just two whole different organizations all here doing similar shit. Oh, no. <laughs> well, damn. How many backup plans do they have? Or was this part of the plan? You thought you put him in the hospital? Take him out of harm's way. Same thing you tried to do. Hmm. Okay. Well. In case you didn't follow through, one man to kill the chancellor. The other one to kill you. A test. Second one I failed, thanks to you. Interesting. God, man, so many redundancies. He was on a plane to Vienna with tickets to the opera, and within six hours of his arrival, the chancellor was dead. Now, that might be circumstance to some public defender, but to the CIA... <laughs> the Special Activities Division will now have full discretion. Whether Hunt lives or dies is entirely up to him. Great. There's a change of clothes in that bag right there. Everything you need to make it to D.C. undetected. You came to Vienna believing you won two tickets to the opera. I attempted to recruit you into assassinating the Chancellor. That you refused. Not... Mm. Let me help you find it. I can't protect you. Mm. That's why I need you to leave. That's not your decision to make, Ethan! I am a field agent. I know the risks. More than that, I am your friend. <laughs> Now you called me because you needed my help, and you still do. So I am staying. Okay. Good. Oh, that got me a little, 
Teary-eyed, man. Okay. That's two escapes under her watch. I feel like that would look pretty suspicious. <laughs> Twice now you let him slip away. Curious. His voice sounds really familiar. I've told you before, trust me or kill me. But if you're gonna kill me, be a man. Do it yourself. Yeah. Uh, I don't like the attrition rate here. Find him, please. He'll find me. I've seen to that. Mm. She playing them or playing them, playing them, playing them? Lipstick. Yeah, that's what I thought it looked like. Gorgeous little pad. Well, that's going to come into play. She's going to need to hold her breath more than two minutes some point in this movie, isn't she? Now what brings you gentlemen to Casablanca? Man, I hope Brant gets into the field. I, I want to see him involved in all the shenanigans. Speak of the devil. We have to get to them first. Are you going to help me? You need to understand something. Ethan is my friend. And if I have one second of doubt whose side you're on... <laughs> His name is Solomon Lane. He created the Syndicate. Where does he come from? He's former British intelligence. Well, if British intelligence knows the Syndicate exists, why don't they just tell the CIA? Yeah, about that. Lane had a ledger. It contained the identities of his operatives, his terrorist associates, the entire inner workings of the Syndicate. So the key to crushing Lane is sitting in a computer just waiting for someone to take it. Why hasn't Lane just sent someone to steal it? Oh, he has. He sent me. And I can tell you, it's impossible. Well, that's why we're here. And the only way to download the ledger is through the central computer terminal located there. To reach the terminal, you'll need to pass the main gate, access the elevator with fingerprint recognition, and open three separate combination locks. Well, that's easy. We just impersonate the agent who stole the ledger in the first place, and I get to wear a mask. <laughs> Yo, finally, Benji gets a mask. Dude, they just keep amping up the technology for- look how happy he is. You won't beat the last one. That's because it's protected by gate analysis, the step beyond facial recognition. These cameras actually know how the agent walks, how he talks, what? how he moves, right down to his facial tics. So what you're saying is no mask can beat it. We're busted before we even get into the vault and I wind up in a Moroccan jail playing mummies and daddies with Omar the Strangler. Okay. <laughs> Aww. There's no way into that terminal unless your profile is pre-installed in the security system. Where the profile is stored? All security data is stored offline in the liquid-cooled array. Good God. Before you ask, the system is designed to shut down automatically if any metal enters the intake. No oxygen tanks. All right, well, how long will it what take to free-swim from the intake to the service hatch? Two minutes, with the current at full power. That's why she was practicing. All he has to do is install the fake profile before I get to the gate analysis. You said it yourself, it's the only way. <laughs> that doesn't sound impossible. More like improbable. He's not exactly sure who this guy is, but this woman, he knows her. He trusts her. Find her, find Ethan. Tell me it's possible to pull facial recognition off a sketch. For mere mortals, no. <laughs> For mere mortals, no. <laughs> I fucking love him, man. I'm wondering, like, were people upset that he wasn't, like, in in the last one? I know I was mildly disappointed. Ooh. 
Oof. <laughs> He's like, the fuck just happened? Dude, can we not get lower? I just... I just... Okay. Oh, made me nervous. Oh, nice. I love the gadgets, man. The cooling system's rebooting by itself. <laughs> Thank goodness, it's just the one thing. Oh! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. Fuck off. We don't even know if that's the right one. Mm. Oh, oh, he grabbed them both. He grabbed them both. Okay. Oh, you bet. You bet. Well, guess it's this one. Oh, God. <laughs> oh my lord, dude. The luck. Oh, come on. <laughs> okay. I thought he was going around for another loop. Dude, I've I've been close to this point before, man. It's it's no fun. There's another movie. There's two other movies. I know he's fine. Come on. Wow, she just took the leap. Damn, he was so close to. You see, what I tell you, difficult, absolutely, but certainly not. In... Is he all right? What's up? What happened? What happened? Oh, Benji. Okay, okay. Yeah. No, she was bad, bad. You know, and this was just playing them, man. I don't think she would have put that much effort into resuscitating him. At least that's what I would hope. But then again, that could be long con material right there. One of these days, you're gonna take it too far. <laughs> We got it. We're gonna nail them. God damn it. Really hurt. Can you walk? Yes, I can. We have to get to her before Lane does. Oh, great. Motorcycle gang time. What is what is everybody's game here, man? I don't. Hmm. <laughs> he's yeah. He's he's still not okay. Are you okay to drive? I mean, a minute ago you were dead. What are you talking about? This is not gonna end well. Oh no! I thought he was like had a little bit of a a smidge of amnesia there for a second. Possible brain damage. I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you could have ran them over, it would have been fine. You just had to have it. <laughs> oh 
Oh god damn it, man. I love these two already. <laughs> oh god. Yo. Oh my god. I know what that's like. Oh! <laughs> this thing's got a little out of hand. <laughs> he just wake up? I didn't even realize he was unconscious, to be honest. Oh, here we go. <laughs> the way they just popped up like prairie dogs when they heard that engine rev up. Mm. Oh my god. You okay? Bless you. Oh! <laughs> Oh. Oh. Wow, well, does she know he would do that? And she actually looks a little remorseful there. Please tell me you made a copy of that disc. Of course I made a copy. Hell yes, Ben G. God damn. So where are we going? You know, I do kind of understand why we wouldn't have Benji and Ving Rhames because they both kind of fulfill a very similar role, but I don't give a shit. Benji's very much like a blend of the two now. He's field and tech. Your orders were to infiltrate the syndicate that we may learn more about them firsthand. The only way to pass is to go back. The director of the CIA called me inquiring about you personally. Of course, to protect your cover, I had to lie. So as far as the Americans are concerned, you're a rogue assassin, a target of opportunity. Great. Precious few people know about your true identity. It would be unfortunate if we forgot. You see, there really is no choice, Elsa. You're going back. That's so fucked up, man. What? What's happening? I can't open it. What do you mean you can't open it? I mean I can't open it ever. That's a red box. <laughs> You're not getting into that thing unless you have fingerprints, retinal scan, and a voice phrase spoken by a specific individual. The Prime Minister of Great Britain himself. There is no ledger, which means we have no proof that the syndicate even exists. And we are all wanted by the CIA. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> He's going to take the prime minister. Yes, he is. Well, we have to warn the British government. Yeah, MI6. No, no, Brant, put down the phone. Let's think about this. We have a responsibility to warn the British government. I think right now, you're incapable of seeing that there is another way. And sometimes Ethan is the only one capable of seeing the only way. And if he is wrong, then we have Vienna all over again. No, you don't know him. If he wants something to happen, there is no preventing it. That's why we have to warn the British. Maybe that's exactly what he wants us to do. Are you listening to yourself? We're going mm, to warn the we're British. We're going in circles we're now. Lane. We're going to get him before he takes the prime minister. Okay. All right, Ethan. This is the launch code situation all over again. <laughs> you knew perfectly well it was blank. That's a lie. The disc you took from me was an exact copy, I'm sure of it. Was it in your possession the entire time? Oh. Oh, you dick. But some part of you suspects you've met your match. And being a gambler, you'll probably end up handing Lane that disc whether you want to or not. That is entirely possible. <laughs> Lane sent you to deliver a message, didn't he? What 
gets the message. Benji. Oh no. Parking garage. Luther, stay with her. Fuck him up. Fuck that guy up, please. I always love that shtick, man. I have a job for you, Ethan. And for the sake of your friend, you will. <sighs> it's to bring me the unlocked disc by midnight tonight. He wants a disc. This is exactly why Alec Baldwin wants us to shut this shit down, because he's going to kidnap the Prime Minister. <laughs> we have to take the Prime Minister. <laughs> Let's just think about that for a minute. This is how we beat late. Can't you see it? No. <laughs> this is so stressful, man. I'm not interested in playing games, Brad. And I'm not interested in seeing my friends get killed either. So if I'm going to betray them, we're going to do this on my terms. Mm -hmm. Keep your phone on. Instructions will follow. Should have been going by now. I get it, man. I, I do. It's getting kind of nuts. Why is he after me? I'm afraid, Prime Minister, Director Hunley and I share responsibility for this. But new intelligence suggests that he's been manipulated by one of your own former agents. Ilsa Faust, Prime Minister. Wow. The syndicate, you say? He couldn't possibly be talking about that syndicate. Because you assured me that that syndicate was merely an exercise. And yet here we have the Central Intelligence Agency indicating otherwise. Yo, ooh. Interesting. Someone's being honest. It was the hypothetical brainchild of Chief Ackley. God damn. Hidden offshore in a virtual red box, which I alone would control. It would have made me judge, jury, and executioner with zero accountability. I rejected the proposal unequivocally. Furthermore, I was given every assurance it never passed the planning stage. Wow. Excuse me, please. Hunt is uniquely trained. There is no secret he cannot extract, no security he cannot breach, no person he cannot become. He has most likely anticipated this very conversation and is waiting to strike in whatever direction we move. Sir, Hunt is the living manifestation of destiny. <laughs> God damn, that is insane. Yo, okay. Hot damn. We got a mask, though. The Prime Minister's office asked me to meet him here. This way, sir. It's okay with you, sir. You've got a very warm hand. <laughs> what is this? Security. <laughs> now. Director Hunley has some questions for you regarding Ilsa Faust, namely how you framed her. That's also true. God damn, man. And the Prime Minister found out about the syndicate. Atley attacked him. Yes, that's true. And then you saved the Prime Minister, sir. <laughs> you killed too many innocent people without ever asking who was giving the orders. You blame this system for what you are instead of yourself. That's how I know I'm going to put you in a box. <laughs> Where's the disc? He's getting to him. Where is the disc? You're looking at it. I am the disc. I memorized it. <laughs> right now you're thinking it's bluff. I couldn't possibly memorize the entire disc. There's only one way to be sure. Let Benji go. Oh. Him. Hey, come one step closer. Shoot me. <laughs> you remember I told you one day you were going to take things too far? This is me speaking, by the way. It's not him. <laughs> oh, he's using himself as a shield. Mm. 
Nice. Oh, <laughs> smart. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, I thought she shoved it through his head. I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> oh, that's what they were putting together. Wow. Mr. Lane, meet the IMF. <laughs> oh. Damn, dude. <laughs> Director Hunley. Director Hunley. Is he rethinking his stance now? The syndicate had infiltrated our government at the highest level. In order for our man to infiltrate that organization, his cover had to be absolute. The whole operation was known only to myself. Oh wow! <laughs> wow, sure, buddy. Whatever, it works, man. Uh, desperate times, desperate measures, Mr. Chairman. How can you justify this deception? I can neither confirm nor deny <laughs> details of any operation without the secretary's approval. <laughs> I like how they brought us right back to the beginning. Welcome to the IMF, Mr. Secretary. That was really good. I think that might be my favorite one. I don't know. It's tough. Just kind of riding off the high of it. I love the the. Again, they're they're stripped bare bones, though they did still have a lot of a little more wiggle room in this one than they did in the last. This was like the ideal like team configuration. We had Ving, we had Simon, we had fucking Renner, and then Tom, and then in to add into this whole mix, the whole uh spiel with Rebecca Ferguson's character as well, because I still wasn't sure where she stood for a bulk of the film at the end of the day and uh it was a lot of fun having that interplay and where i had talked about one of the things that i thought while not explored all that well uh with ambrose as far as why he left the imf and took the route he did it was fun having an anti-ethan and like i talked out uh at the end of the last one i was like are we setting up like an anti-imf and that's almost exactly what we got here so it's like an anti-Ethan organization. And I really liked that premise. Um, I likened it to something like Spectre before, but it didn't quite build to that level. And I don't know if we're necessarily done. Did we cut the head off a of Hydra, so to speak? And will it rise again? Will it regrow? Will more people rise up and kind of pick up the scraps? Or are we done? Because we set that up. That was the first time we had like a crossover thread the syndicate tease at the end of the last one into this. And then we followed through on that in this film. Is this like a continuous storyline from this point onward with the Christopher McQuarrie stuff or just like everything else is it just, you know, we, that this is the only instance of that. You don't have to answer. Obviously it's rhetorical. I'm asking at, for myself at the moment, what I'm thinking, cause I'll get to it when I get to fall out next week. Um, but like, ooh, the action was great. The, like, again, the great little comedic relief elements that both, honestly, that everybody adds into this because there's such a chemistry that is palpable between everybody in this. The lengths that Benji will go for Ethan is endearing. And Brant, 
who I thought, and they had definitely set up in every set of the way, like even in the last film when he was introduced, to here, I very much was kind of like, I believe Brant would sell Ethan out if he did think that was the only play to keep things safe. But that was the play. That was part of the play. Oh, that was, I didn't, I honestly didn't see that coming. I thought he was going to do what he thought was right in that moment, but then still be the Ethan's voice on the other side for everybody else. You know, he would be there to kind of like keep uh, Hunley grounded, or at least be there to kind of be a thorn in his side to make sure Ethan has the opportunities he needs. But no, it was all part of the plan. When Ethan masked up as the uh, director of MI6. Who started this whole thing? He wanted the UK to just the MI6, the prime minister to be judge, jury, and executioner of fucking the planet? That's kind of nuts. <laughs> and rightfully so, the prime minister was like, I thought this was just a hypothetical. That's why I said, fuck off to this. So he at least had some sense. He thought it was a training thing, but the, the MI6 guy just really wanted to run with that. And he created these agents that just really detested the work they had to do. Just like he did with Solomon Lane, you know? He, he like Ethan proposed, he, he's like, you, you were blaming the wrong people. Maybe you were always like this, or why didn't you ever question these things yourselves before, rather than put it on the person telling you what to do? You never questioned your orders. You just went along with it. You didn't have the soul to begin with. You're just looking for a fire to start. I don't know. I like the psychology of it. He was a very interesting, uh, menacing villain in a way. He kind of like blends the elements of Ambrose and the elements of uh, Davian that I really liked into a singular entity. And I like that like kind of raspy, quiet, whispery voice he's got. It just has this kind of chill factor along with his just overall demeanor as well as his, his intelligence, his planning. You know, he he he's very much like an amalgamation of everybody we've come up against up until this point with these connections and with these tendrils that have kind of leaked out into all these different organizations and locales. I don't know. I found it very interesting, as well as having the multi-agent play, as well as he's definitely a pragmatic person to the point where he had redundancies for his redundancies for his redundancies. I like that kind of thing in, in media, man. I like those kinds of villains that are just that forward thinking. Uh, and then Ethan memorizing the list and knowing that regardless of whether or not he believed it was true, the possibility that it was, he couldn't risk it. Again, falling back for his pragmatism, playing his chess game against him. Uh, I love that. Uh, Ving, again, the comedy, bringing that in, the heart, the charisma, the, the interaction between him and Jeremy Renner. I like those little moments. Jeremy Renner has some great comedic elements to to his timing, to his execution, though we didn't get to see him get into the action, didn't get to see him throw down, which is always fun because I do think he does that really well. Like the quick glimpses of it we got in the last one, obviously we've seen him in other films like the Marvel stuff and then even something as what would seem so harmless as Tag, there's some real strong action moments in that with him in there. Uh, he really does lend himself to this. And seeing more of this and more of him in these types of roles really makes me want to check out finally that uh, the Bourne film where he was the lead. I'm very curious about that. I, I didn't watch that purely because it wasn't Jason Bourne <laughs> in, the, in the movie. So I was like, why is this a thing? So I never actually watched it. So this is making me kind of turn, on, turn heel on that a little bit. Uh, Cruise was great. The action was great. I do think we kind of, as far, as far as the stakes, they were a little lower pay. Some of the set pieces may not have been as grand as some of the previous things we have seen in this film. I think narratively, they all still kind of worked really well. And what accentuated them nicely was the tension and the position that the characters were in. Uh, it helped elevate what, for the franchise so far, was some pretty tame uh, action pieces. Like the, the thing with... They're still creative, though. They come up with these interesting scenarios like the infiltration of that base that ha held the data that they had to extract, like with the liquid cooling uh, radiator down below, and then the thing with Benji going through that. That was cool. Uh, we had the chase through 
that city with the motorcycles and all that. That was nice as well as intense. And then you just have these other moments that it just shows the more elaborate machinations of what they're doing. Obviously, we also opened up with the plane thing with Tom holding on to the side of that plane and getting sucked in and then, you know, doing what he'd do. Yeah, I mean, I think this overall was, I, this was, I think this took a lot of the elements. The series is kind of refined for himself and just kind of, I, I really, I honestly, I just don't have anything real, even as a critique to say about this, to be real, other than I would have loved to have seen, you know, uh, Renner get into some scuffles. But everything worked nice. It flowed really well. Yeah, honestly, I can't. Other than my frustrations of recording this, because I can't figure out what the issue was, and you might notice this, especially the people in the watch along might notice this. I had a lot of drops, like the frame drops, like in what I was watching, and I would notice in the recording frames dropping from my OBS recording. Like, I'm going to have to stitch this together because I had to stop and start the, the recording and start it up again, rewind a couple of seconds, and then stitch it back together. And I, I don't know what's been causing that. It's only been happening here last in the last week or so, give or take, and I don't know what's changed. I'm scared, and though I haven't played any games or anything like that, I haven't stress test my graphics card in a hot minute. And if it's my graphics card, which I just got like a month ago, I'm going to be very upset because <laughs> it was uh, I finally caught the error message when it occurred one of the times on OBS and the o encoder was overloading, which it shouldn't be because I've got the settings pretty tame. So there's no excuse for that to be happening now all of a sudden. But yeah, that's the only other thing. And that's not even the movie's fault. That's just my experience right now. So it, I, despite being mildly frustrated behind the scenes, so hopefully that doesn't show in the in the reaction that you guys see, despite being uh, inwardly frustrated with how OBS was performing during the reaction, the movie still continued to keep me distracted from that. And it, it, it kept me in the, in the moment, it kept me in the energy. And I thought like the, everything was really just sucking me in and I, I would only get pulled out of it whenever I would see like something back, but then the movie would pull me right back in. I, I really enjoyed this one. This might be my new favorite. This might be my new number one. That's so tough, man. I've got such a personal attachment to three. Mmm. And I did really, I, I, I didn't change anything in the last video, but even like re-watching during the edit when I was like uh, working on it and proofing it before posting it, I was like, man, I really did enjoy Ghost Protocol, man. Still don't think it was enough to put it over three. Or maybe it will. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Time will tell. Maybe Maybe things will change, but... Right now, I, I think I'm going to go Rogue Nation 3, Ghost Protocol 1, 2. I really like the way this one was put together. I don't know. I still love how serious and personal 3 is. This and the, pre the last movie, man, it's just, it's just fun. And bringing Ving in, and again, like having that, this like ideal little pocket group in this, I think made this one just a, a, a treat to watch. I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. And, and I'm even like still debating if I want to swap three in Ghost Protocol, having let it digest a little bit. But right now, I'm going to I'm going to keep it where I said. Uh, and who knows, maybe by the end of it, we'll shift some things around. Uh, but right now, that's what I'm going to stick with. But guys, what did you guys think? What are your thoughts? How does this fit in to your rankings? Remember, just rank as the as we go along the movies that we have covered so far. Don't include Fallout, don't include Dead Reckoning Part 1, just up to Rogue Nation. I want to see the lists evolve over time. And with that said, guys, that's it for this one. Uh, I'd love to hear from you all. And if you enjoyed this reaction, let me know. Leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe if you're not already. I'd really appreciate it, and we'll be diving into uh, Fallout next Monday. So stick around for that. Remember, if you want to see the full-length reaction to this, you can check it out over on Patreon or for Gummy Channel, Channel gets you access as well. And speaking of before you go, I want to shout out our channel legends, Manny Sherritt, Ryan Karen, Yuri Coruscant, Margaret Grace, Melito, Robert Aguiano, Jeffrey Hale, M. Sephiroth, Jake Cantrell, and Eric Official. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.